On April 30th, 2016, I will graduate from the University of Pittsburgh. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't incredibly excited. However, just hours after my ceremony, I will be packing up all of my belongings into a rental truck and saying goodbye to the place I have called home for the past four years of my life. As much as I am ready to move forward and explore new uncharted territory, I can't help but reminisce about my time here and how grateful I am for every second of it. So this is my thank you. Pittsburgh is kind of quirky if you think about it. It's a divided city, and each neighborhood brings its own distinct character and charm, all of which sum together to create a whimsical but simultaneously comforting place. I've never been one to feel homesick towards a place after I've left it. However, whenever I'm forced to leave somewhere close to my heart, I can't help but feel an intense sense of almost melancholic nostalgia. Let me explain. I like to use the world as my scrapbook. I store my feelings in physical nooks and crannies and pound my memories into the pavement. So, after living here for four life-changing years, you can probably imagine that I've built up quite the pile of emotions. But who will remember them when I'm gone? Three new people have already lived in my tiny freshman year dorm, and they all have overwritten the smells of my perfume and the countless bananas I ate with their own little human erosions. Hundreds of people have already sat in the same classrooms as me, and while I may have made some major breakthroughs in those little uncomfortable seats, they may have felt the exact opposite, or vice versa. Isn't it crazy how just one place can remind people of two completely different things? I'm going to miss so much about Pittsburgh, but not the city itself. I'll miss the little things it holds. I'll miss the tragically dirty yet somehow still comforting streets of Oakland with random spurts of cardboard heads, gardens, and mountains of used pizza boxes. I'll miss that weird yellow thing I walk past almost every single day, although I'm still not quite sure what it is. I'll miss my job and my coworkers, even though sometimes the customers weren't our favorites. I'll miss my early and bleary-eyed walks to the gym and the security guard who would swipe my ID every single time. I'll miss my Sunday morning walks to church, even though most times I would think that God better love me for coming because it was over a mile one way. I'll miss my tiny little room, which was always lit with sunlight. Always. And I'll always admire the fact that despite its cramped size, I somehow still managed to fit my entire wardrobe and found space to work out in it. Hey, even though it was kind of crappy, I'm actually going to miss my entire apartment. From the weird orange banister, to my little study corner, to the oven that took over an hour to preheat and that little unscreened window, which allowed me to sneak up the fire escape and watch the sunset from my roof. I'll miss my friends. Even though I can sometimes be introverted, I hope they all know how much they mean to me and how they have positively impacted my life. I know I can always come back and unearth all of the stored memories that this city holds, but things will never be exactly the same. And while that's sad to think about, I also think it's incredibly beautiful at the same time. Because that's life. It just keeps going.